Hey, my name's John, and welcome to Ask John D. Jones. Okay, so in today's episode, I'm gonna talk about something that I've been uh, wishing for for a little while, and that is a CMS to move to .NET Core. Now, two years ago, I wrote a video um, just saying, you know, the state of .NET Core and CMS in C Sharp, and at the time, none of these sort of CMSs, none of the frameworks um, actually worked in .NET Core. Now, a few years later, unfortunately, it's quite sad that, you know, things are the same. However, the positive news is obviously, as of last year, Microsoft has said, you know, we're not supporting, you know, web forms and uh, MVC anymore. Moving forward, it's gonna be all .NET Core. So, um, eventually, you know, the CMS vendors have caught up. For Umbraco, um, they were working on Umbraco 8 for ages. Umbraco 8 has a whole new um, bunch of features, you know, like infinite scrolling, um, better multi-language support. If you haven't considered upgrading to uh, Umbraco 8, give it a thought. It's not as uh, easy as 6 to 7 and it might cost uh, a lot of um, time and effort to do it. But you know, there's some good stuff in there. Now the good news is that now version 8 is out, Umbraco is focused on that for a little while. Um, I think the focus now is on .NET Core. So uh, I got an email a few weeks ago, um, I think anyone who's part of the newsletter did, was asking to join the .NET Core team. I think it's called the Unicore project. Fortunately, you know, I didn't make the cut. Um, I said I was more than happy to help. Um, I've got a little time coming up, so um, I thought I'd um, you know, offer my services. There's a team of like five or 10 people who've been picked who are gonna be uh, leading this project. Um, and because it's like a community initiative, um, they're not gonna be doing the whole project, but they're gonna focus on little bits and they're gonna help speed up the process of you know, making Umbraco work on .NET Core. So one of the main reasons for this video is obviously at the moment, you know, there's um, the good news is, is you know, that Umbraco is going to be moving to .NET Core. So all of you, you know, who've been complaining or a bit frustrated that you still have to use um, old MVC, fear not. I mean, because it's moving to .NET Core, one of the probably the problems are when it eventually comes out, whenever that may be, is obviously it's going to be a massive change. You're probably going to have to completely rebuild your website again. So if you go from seven to eight, you're going to have to do probably a lot of work depending on you know how many plugins and custom code you've got. Then going from eight to .NET Core will again be a rewrite. So in terms of development effort, there's quite a lot of stuff going on, and I'm guessing when the .NET Core version comes out. Um, you don't want to be, you know, on the bleeding edge. You probably want to let that um, be out in production for like six months. Let other people fix the bugs for you rather than, you know, having issues with your website going down. But the good news is, is, you know, it's on the pipeline. There's a team which has been set up and, you know, people are working on it. Now, obviously, if you're like me, um, you're happy to help out and you want to see Umbraco using .NET Core. Um, obviously, I think sooner rather than later, there's going to be a load of um, you know tasks and a load of um, pull requests that you could probably make. As Umbraco is open source, and if it's something that you are interested in, I would recommend you reaching out to the Unicore team, which I'll link to below. Maybe ask them and say you know you're happy to help. I think you know the Unicore team is basically thinking about the direction, and they're going to be like leading the initiative to help um, refactor the code. As it's open source, I'm expect that they're going to look for um, any help they can so obviously if you reach out and you've got a bit of time you can you know do some of the mundane you know refactoring of getting like a system.web um, getting all traces of a certain API or something I'm sure that they'd love the thought and they'd love some help so anyway yeah this was just a little update video the good news is that obviously you know people are working on it and there's a team being formed and good things will happen if that's going to happen within you know this year um, who knows? Again, when it gets released, personally, I wouldn't jump on it until you know uh, it's been in production for like three to six months, and you know maybe nine point one is out. Just because you know in that first big technology change, there's always just a mass of bugs. Um, it's just the nature of software when you change things. You know there's always going to be the consequence of new issues, and it's going to take a while for it to settle down. So anyway, hope this, ben, uh, this video has been beneficial. As I said, I'll write a link to the Unicore team and um, you can have a look at stuff yourself. If this video has been beneficial to you and you wanna be a legend, this is the easiest way that you can feel like a legend today. Hit the subscribe button, um, it'll make me feel good about myself. I just do these videos for a bit of, um, bit of a chat and um, I, I know that a few people find them beneficial, so if you do, subscribe. 
If you want to learn about Umbraco, I have a load of articles on going back from Umbraco 4. Um, go to my website, johndjones.com, that's J-O-N-D-J-O-N-E-S.com. Um, as I said, there's a ton of Umbraco resources and code samples and stuff to help you out. Aside from that, if you've got any Umbraco questions yourself or you just want to ask me something, um, most of these videos are done by you know conversations I have at work or um, emails that people ask me or comments left on videos. Obviously this is YouTube, leave a comment below. Um, aside from that, I hope you have a great day and uh, let's all keep our fingers crossed that Umbraco Core will come out very soon and then we can all live in paradise and work in a beautiful world of .NET Core. Anyway, until next time, catch you later.